Right, so the other day I was on Genius, uh, which is a website where it has lyrics to songs and then you can click the lyrics and it will give the meaning behind them. And for some reason, the other day I was on there reading Lil Pump lyrics. I don't even listen to Lil Pump, but we all know his lyrics are very deep. So I thought today it would be a great idea to just go on a few Lil Pump songs and find out the meaning behind his lyrics. The first song we're going to look at is D Rose. So we've got four lines of 100 on my wrist, 80 on my wrist, four lines of D Rose, D Rose, D Rose, D Rose, four lines lines of 80 on my wrist, 100 on my wrist again, and then another four lines of D rows, D rows, D rows, D rows. So if we click chorus over here, in this chorus, Lil Pump brings some extremely complex rhyme patterns. In the first four bars, you can see Lil Pump goes for one five syllable rhyme scheme for the first half of a bar and carries it throughout the first four bars. Then for the second half of the bar, has a second five syllable rhyme scheme, which he then continues for the second half of each of those four bars. Overall, it creates a 10 syllable rhyme scheme pattern. Along with this, the last three syllables of both five syllable patterns are multis as well. For the next four bars, Pump focuses on a two syllable multi which he carries for the rest of the four bars. He continues the exact same two syllable multis for every syllable in those four bars. Together they create a four syllable, six syllable looping multis, eight syllable and even sixteen syllable if you count it for two bars. Multis using singular rhyme pattern. In the last chorus bit he only uses eight bars instead of repeating them. This is what I'm saying, man. Lil Pump is a lyrical genius. I, I don't know anyone else who is doing that. What other artist do you know who is coming out with lyrics like this? Pop four Zans, now I'm feeling like a hero, Superman. What Lil Pump is telling us here is that after popping four Xanax, he is really high. We know this because he says that he feels like a hero. More specifically, he feels like Superman. And what does Superman do? He flies really, really high. Amazing, absolutely amazing. I would have never guessed that. 100 on my wrist, 80 on a brick. Pump spent $100,000 on a watch and $80,000 on a brick of cocaine. <laughs> Sorry, those lyrics got to me for a second. I just fucked your bitch, what? I just broke my wrist, okay. Anytime Lil Pump mentions having sexual intercourse with your bitch, sister, or mom, that is just him being ignorant, which is what many love about him. On the other hand, when he says, I just broke my wrist, this could mean three things. Wow, one lyric meaning three different things. That is absolutely insane. One, he broke his wrist fighting with you or someone else. Two, broke his wrist from whipping up cocaine. Three, broke his wrist from wearing heavy, expensive jewelry. I just fucked your bitch, oh, I just fucked your bitch, okay. Lil Pump is saying that he had sexual intercourse with your girlfriend, ending with an unnecessary oh and okay that has absolutely no meaning towards the song whatsoever. <laughs> and then he goes on to say D-Rose like another 32 times. Basically, it's the chorus again. Um, so yeah, I mean, overall, that was a pretty deep song. I'm just kidding. I can't keep that up for any longer. His lyrics are awful. What makes it funnier is that basically 95% of people who listen to him are younger than 16. So he's talking about whipping up cocaine fucking your bitch, but the people listening to it are like 13. All right, the next one we're gonna look at is Gucci Gang. My lean costs more than your rent. All right, this lyric definitely does not need an explanation this big. Okay, we all know what lean is, and he's saying that it costs more than your rent. It doesn't need that big of an explanation. Fucking my t-shirt, call it tutory. Lil Pump is 17 years old as of this song's release. Having intercourse with an adult is illegal because the age of consent is 18 in his home state, Florida. Oh, so... Uh, uh, uh. F*** your airline, f*** your company. They kicked me out of the plane off a Percocet. Now Lil Pump flying private jet, everybody scream f*** WestJet. In July 2017, Lil Pump was kicked off a WestJet flight from LA to Toronto for being too loud and disruptive. Pump says it's because he was under the influence of a Percocet. Anyone is going to get kicked off a plane doing that. Everybody scream f*** quest yet what did they do you're the reason you got kicked off the plane okay now let's look at boss yeah i came in with a sauce yeah i came in with a saw so he's talking about expensive clothes again and uh, a sword off shotgun he's walking in with a sword off shotgun told that bitch lil pump yeah oh damn Reference to Lil Pump's breakthrough self-titled single, Lil Pump. I just broke my wrist, 100 on my wrist, can't tell me shit. Pump claims to have such an excessive amount of diamond jewellery that the weight of it broke his wrist. Top 4 Zans, then I f***. 
an N-words bitch. I feel like I'm hearing these songs in the previous ones that we just looked at. Like, I, I remember him saying Pop for Zans, 100 on my wrist. He's 17, right? And he's talking about doing cocaine, uh, popping Zans, Percocets, Lean. He's only 17 and he's doing all these drugs. Like, I think you should probably slow down on the drugs if he wants to kind of, I don't know, live. Yeah, I came with the sauce. Yeah, I sold crack in the halls. Okay, again, doesn't even need a meaning. Uh, we can tell what he's saying. All right, whatever, man. That's gonna be it for this video. I can't do it anymore. I just can't. Okay, look, if you like Lil Pump and you listen to him, that's cool. Keep listening to him. But there's no arguing about it. His lyrics are shit. The beats he uses are good and the songs can be catchy. But uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. Really helps me out a lot and I appreciate all the support. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And other than that, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.